Not a garden taco. Yeah, we're chatting. Chatting place. about the basil that I have in my new backyard. Oh, pretty exciting. I know. You know when you think pizza? What do you think? You think Italian, don't you? You definitely do. But Antigone Sander from Cafe 421 in Minneapolis is here with the Greek version of pizza and a really tasty classic, yes. Spanakopita. Yes. We've Hi, Antigone. We're using filo dough today two ways. Okay. Filo two ways. And we've got filo pizza and then we have Spanakopita. And so nobody makes their own filo, right? You can, but yeah. it's a really labor-intensive sort of a process. Right. So well, unless you're retired and have a lot of time on your hands, I don't recommend it. No. And, the, and, the, and explain the, the filo dough. Sure. This is this is really we've had it on the show once before. And but for those that aren't cooking experts, <laughs> you have to keep a damp towel on it uh -huh. so that it is more pliable as it does dry out really easily. Yeah. And as you can see here, it's as thin as a sheet of paper. Isn't that crazy? And it rips really easily. Yeah. So you want to use it like really delicately and carefully. And not like not, that. Not like <laughs> I just did. <laughs> but just so you can see. Muscles. There you go. Woo. Filo. So I've already started this, and the great thing about a dish like this is you don't have to be quite so careful with the filo dough because okay. you do about eight layers on the bottom and create a crust. So if you rip it, it's going to just be it's going to get others? hidden by okay. more filo dough. Nice. You put a layer down, you cover it in melted butter, which we've got over here. Okay. And then each layer you cover in butter, and that acts as the glue. So you to do eight layers, just the filo of the butter. Filo yep. butter. Okay. And you just make a shell, and then we made the spinach mixture. Spanakopita is a super, super Greek classic dish mm -hmm. that you can find in almost every Greek restaurant yep. here in the Twin Cities. And I think ours at the cafe is pretty exceptional. It's one of my favorites, Good. probably because it's my mom's is recipe. Is it your mom's recipe? Yeah, it is my mom's ask. recipe. Love your mom. And the spinach mixture has dill and green onions and... Did you use frozen spinach? You do use frozen spinach. Yeah. And I really don't recommend using fresh because to get a pound of fresh spinach all wilted down to fill this dish, yeah. it's a lot of spinach. Yeah, a lot so of So the trick to use if you're using frozen spinach, put it after it's thawed in a dish towel like this and wrap it up and then squeeze it over the sink and that'll get all of the liquid out of your mm. spinach. Then you're not That's sitting there with trick. a watery, yeah. watery dish. Okay, good. So you put your mixture in there mm -hmm. and then you start to cover it with more phyllo dough. Oh. And we won't be super careful here, no. but you top it with about 10 more layers of yeah. phyllo. And you would just again. cut the edges off, is that right? Yep, that's exactly what you do. And you cover it in the butter. It's like and painting. And then you will cut around the side and get all of the side stuff off. But the one trick to be aware of when you're putting a dish like this in the oven, mm -hmm. the phyllo is like puff pastry and it will puff up. So score the dish before you put it in the oven oh. so that you'll make lines uh -huh. in there and that's how it will bake. So when you cut into it, when it comes out of the oven, all the phyllo won't crumble. Oh, good. All right. Okay, so that's the trick. And then how long does that bake for? About 40 to 50 minutes, depending on how hot your oven gets at 375. And we get to eat it? We get to eat it. It's, it's sitting over going here. Right ahead. Yeah, I'm going to try it. This is like a paper towel is what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not absorbent, though. No, I was going to say, butter. I feel like we could clean up with this <laughs> afterwards. So it's like so crunchy. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I think it's isn't it delicious? So, so good. And mm -hmm. it's rich. It has eggs in there to bind it, and cheese, two kinds of cheese. So it's healthy, oh. but it is definitely a hearty vegetarian dish. I need more okay. of that. That's okay, amazing. you dig into that. Yeah. I want to get to the uh -huh. pizza. <laughs> All right, mm. onto the pizza. I'm just gonna move this phyllo dough sure. over here. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's like spinach lasagna, but better. And we sell it as an appetizer in the restaurant, but you mm -hmm. can get it as an entree and it totally is filling. Oh, that's cool. Now okay. for the filo pizza, yeah. what you are going to do is layer one at a time, 11 layers of filo dough, layer butter, Parmesan cheese, granulated garlic. This is a commitment. This is a commitment. Yeah. Okay. But once it might, it's done, one yeah. box of phyllo dough, which holds about a pound, uh -huh. gets two pizzas. So you can make two and freeze one and have one on hand ready to go oh, like if that's you have company But I feel like by. once you get going, it goes pretty fast. It is. You just have to be committed to the layering okay. and the brushing and so stuff So layer like and that. then Parmesan mm -hmm. and... Then the garlic. last layer, you top it and you don't put any butter on it because you're going to sprinkle it with mozzarella. Mm. And that is, go ahead and no mozzarella I'm gonna all help over you. the pizza. Yeah. So this can't be a super traditional Greek. This is not, not super traditional. Okay. This is definitely moving away from traditional, but you'll find in a lot of restaurants now, they are more actually cheese. doing a lot more different things it's with like filo Greek dough. It's like Greek inspired, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So you do the mozzarella, you do white onion, sprinkle that all over, Yum. green onion green if you want to do that. Yeah. And then you can just layer some tomatoes on there and 
you just do them side by side. So they're almost like little windows of <sighs> tomato slices I love tomatoes. across the pizza. So, so we're not using any sauce twist. on here though, No, nope, huh? it's a twist on a margarita pizza. Yeah. And then you're going to finish the whole pizza with tomatoes, mm -hmm. sprinkle more mozzarella, not mozzarella, the Parmesan on more top. More Parmesan, okay. And then the oregano, which John has already dug into. <laughs> and sprinkle that, and then you get this finished product over here. How long do you have to cook that? That cooks for about 20 minutes in a 375 degree oven. Okay, this looks and so good. And it doesn't puff up like the other phyllo did. It just simply glues together So you don't worry about scoring this one? No, nope, yeah. this one, you're just gonna let it cook whole. Mm -hmm. And really, most importantly, you wanna let it cool before you cut into it. Oh, man. Pretty delicious. Not bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that is good. like, not at all bad. No. It's yeah. like really, really yeah. good. It's gourmet is what it is. I love this. It's like, I love how it's kind of crunchy on the on the bottom. It's all those layers of yeah. cheese and butter that have made the crust. So it doesn't just fall apart like you yeah. think it would. And you can do all sorts of different applications with the phyllo pizza. We do artichoke hearts and feta cheese and all sorts of stuff. So you could even put sausage on there. What are you doing to that? I was just checking it out. Oh, I mean, okay. Looks like it came from a magazine, but she actually just made it like, right as she got here today. Unbelievable. Oh, I love it. This is so great. Antigone, Good, I'm glad. nice job. Nice job Thanks. as Good usual. Idea. Thank uh -huh. you. Cafe 421. Offer mm -hmm. specials throughout the week if you want to check out their website. And these two recipes, go to KSTP.com, click on Twin Cities Live, and then go to our Eat page. All right, coming up, save a ton on eating out and at the spa because you don't want to miss two exclusive deals. And country music artists.